Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to subscribe users to reports in Salesforce. This is a really useful skill to know how to do because you may need to train users how to do it or you may wanna go ahead and subscribe users to certain reports based on their job needs when you're creating their user profile. And it's a really straightforward process but if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I put out new videos each week and hit the like button if you found this informative. But we're gonna go ahead and jump into this. To subscribe to a report in Salesforce, you're gonna to wanna to go to the reports tab and whatever report you're wanting to subscribe to, you're gonna to wanna to go to it. So I'm gonna do this copy of bucket report here. Now we got the report pulled up and you're gonna come over here to the right where it has the edit button. There's gonna be a drop down. You're gonna click the drop down and then you're gonna click subscribe. Once the subscribe button comes up, we have a few different options here. We have the frequency, so you can do daily, weekly, or monthly. You can select the day of the week and the time. You can also attach file if you would like here. You have the option to edit the recipient. So this says send email to me. You can edit the recipients. And then there is entity type, and this is set up as user. And then you would select the username and you can select another user besides yourselves to add to the subscription. As you can see, I added Jamie James to this. Now, however, it is worth noting if the user does not have access to the report folder that the report is saved in, then you will not be able to add that user to the report. This report folder is shared with Jimmy James and Tina. In a second, I'll show you a report in my private folder that I can subscribe to, but I can't add anybody else. So I went ahead and added Jimmy on, into there as well. And as you can see, it goes to me and Jimmy. Now you can choose how you wanna run the report as. Right now it's set up to run the report as me and email it out. Whatever access level that I have, that's what the report's gonna run and send out as. Now if I wanted to run this as another person, it's the same principle. You can't run it for somebody that doesn't have access to this report folder but maybe there's someone that does that has higher access or more access to more records than you do, or um, you're setting up a user that's maybe in a top role that's sending out to subordinates. You could set that up this way and maybe I wanted to change it to Jimmy in this case, but I'm gonna leave it as me. And then you can add conditions as well. It says, in addition to subscribing, you can set up conditions on this report. You'll be notified when these conditions are met. This is optional. So let's click this button and see what happens. Now it'll give you these options here. So you'll get notified when all the conditions are met. So if the record count equals maybe a thousand, sum of annual revenue, it's based on this report here. If the sum of the annual revenue is over a million dollars, it'll email out based on the frequency and days you set or the sum of the employees equals a certain amount. You can change this operator to not equals, less than, greater than, and, and you can see that all there. And you have the options to send out just the summary only or summary and the report. Now, once you decide how you wanna subscribe, you'll just hit save and it will email you based on the email that is linked to the user profiles. Now, earlier I mentioned that if a report is saved in like in a private folder or the user that you're trying to add to the subscription doesn't have access to the folder, you won't be able to do so. I'm gonna show you that just so you have a visual. Back to my reports tab, and we're gonna click on this bucket report. As you can see, it's saved in my private report folder. And now that we're here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hit the drop down, subscribe, and we could set up the frequencies, but right here under recipients, because this is in my private folder, it says to add other recipients to the subscription, make sure the report is saved in a shared folder. And this is not a shared folder, it's my private folder. So that's what I was talking about. So if you come across and you're not able to add someone that should be, this probably because they don't have access to the folder that the report is saved in. If you found this video informative, make sure you hit the like button so I know to make more videos like this in the future. And I will see you in the next video.